So in the next few videos, we're going to talk about materials. And I must admit, this was the part I was least excited to get to because, and I hope you're sitting down for this, you should replace all the materials in your scene with new ones. Uh, yeah, I hope you see this video early on to your project and you didn't spend too much time uh, working on materials, either in Inventor or using uh, 3ds Max materials. And uh, it, it's unfortunate, but it's inevitable because in this workflow, we're going to or going through three completely different software. So it's not like we're going from one manufacturing software to another. Uh, but, you know, we're going to three software that were designed to do different things. So we're going from a manufacturing software, an inventor, to an animation or visual effects software in 3ds Max, and then going bringing that into a video game engine, um, which is 3ds Max Interactive. Um, so it's inevitable that we're going to have to redo things, and in this case, materials uh, are the things we're going to have to redo. And the reason is is that essentially, video game engine. Um, uses or this video game engine uses the DirectX API. So in the end, all the materials that we do are going to end up as DirectX shaders. So that does mean we don't necessarily, you can see my first point says we should replace all the materials, not we have to. We can keep it to whatever material we had with an inventor, but in the end, once we bring it into the video game engine, it's going to be converted to a DirectX uh, shader. So to avoid any surprises uh, in the sense that what we see will look completely different when we bring it into our last software, uh, we should start as early as possible using DirectX shaders to avoid surprises.